Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, just wanted to make a quick little video about Denver International Airport that I've been meaning to make for some time now, but I just haven't gotten around to it. This all stems from a meme that's been circulating around social media recently, claiming that this artwork you see here is one of the murals featured in the airport. And while Denver International Airport does feature some pretty morbid looking murals, I just wanted to point out this artwork isn't one of them. Now, that's not really what I wanted to make this video about, but it did spark something in me that told me it's time to make this video because I know a secret or two about this airport that haven't ever been covered in any other videos, literature, or anywhere else before, and I believe it's time for me to point out some things that have been hidden in plain sight ever since the airport first opened in 1995. But before I get to that, I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown of some of what we already do know about the airport because there's a lot going on here that raises some red flags about its design, leading many people to believe that there's actually a secret deep underground military base, or dumb, located beneath it. For starters, construction of the airport went way over budget at a cost of $4.8 billion, and it was completed 16 months behind schedule, which is kind of surprising considering that its terminal is basically just a gigantic fiberglass tent. The airport spans a huge plot of land, approximately 54 square miles, which is larger than most major cities and more than twice the size of Manhattan. Beneath the airport are miles and miles of underground concrete tunnels, complete with their own sprinkler systems because, you know, concrete underground tunnels pose a serious fire risk and all. The official story claims that these tunnels were constructed to accommodate an extensive, state-of-the-art automated baggage transport system, which failed epically from its inception and was ultimately scrapped. In fact, during the construction of the airport, three large buildings were constructed and then buried beneath tons of dirt, with airport officials claiming that they were accidentally built in the wrong locations because... You know, that's totally likely to happen. And of course, when it does happen, you don't tear them down, you just cover them up with dirt. Now, as you approach the airport, one of the first things you're going to see is a 32-foot tall statue of a blue Mustang with glowing red eyes, which is totally not to be confused with the pale horse from the Book of Revelations. And I'm sure that its height of 32 feet is totally just a coincidence. Wink, wink. The statue has been lovingly named Blucifer, and it literally killed its creator when the statue's head fell on sculptor Luis Jimenez before it was completed by his son and then installed in the airport. Now, when you enter the terminal, one of the first things you're going to see is this dedication stone featuring the Masonic Square and Compass and the words New World Airport Commission. A lot of conspiracy theorists like to claim that no such group called the New World Airport Commission exists. And they often relate this dedication stone with the New World Order, or the, the Illuminati. In reality, just because it doesn't exist, doesn't mean that it didn't exist at one point. You see, anytime you have such a large-scale construction project like this airport, they will usually appoint a committee to oversee its construction. And since such a committee would have no business in dealing with the public, there likely wouldn't be any documentable evidence uh, that it ever existed and it certainly would not need to continue existing after the project's completion. So, I would suggest to you that if no commission ever existed, then neither would this dedication stone because it's highly likely that they're actually the ones who put it there, but I digress. Nevertheless, there is certainly a lot of strangeness going on with this airport, including this sculpture of a gargoyle in a suitcase. And of course, most notably, the infamous murals which can be found painted on the airport's interior walls. These murals are disturbing to say the least, and they have no business being featured on the walls of an international airport. One of these murals features this Nazi-esque looking soldier who is wearing a gas mask and standing next to a long line of women who appear to be mourning the deaths of their infant children while the bodies of other children lay atop piles of rubble. In his hand, the soldier is holding a sword which is piercing a dove, a common symbol for peace. Another mural features children mourning over various dead animals and other children who are resting in coffins, clutching their religious books while the forest burns behind them. A third mural features the surviving children of the world rejoicing over, over the body of the now deceased soldier while destroying his weapons of war. 
and a fourth mural again features the surviving children along with the surviving animals of the world, this time gathered around a flower symbolizing the return to and of nature. So hey, at least there's a silver lining at the end of this very dark cloud that looms over us all because this mural says so. Now, the last thing I want to share with you before I reveal this new secret about Denver International Airport is the configuration of the airport's runways, which many conspiracy theorists believe was meant to form the shape of a swastika. Because the design of the airport has undergone such scrutiny, especially considering how many conspiracy theorists have pointed out the shape of these runways, I'm kind of amazed that nobody else has ever noted uh, what's been hiding right beneath everybody's noses for all this time. If you're already familiar with my research on the secret design of Washington, D.C., you'll already know that I love to look for hidden Masonic designs in the landscape, but this one isn't even hidden, at least not to me. If you look closely, just below the swastika, you should see it. If we zoom in a little closer, you should be able to make out its details, but be careful because it's coiled and ready to strike. Here, we can see the hooded shape of its head. In this image, I've highlighted its mouth and eyes. It even has fangs and a forked tongue. It's one of the most deadly snakes in the serpent family, a cobra, poised and ready to strike, located right beneath the swastika at Denver International Airport. The cobra symbolizes changes, enchantment, hypnosis, protectiveness, danger, poison, determination, fear, strength, sexuality, sexual urges, courage, confidence, transformation, royalty, death. They are also a symbol of speed, defensiveness, and gracefulness. So clearly, you should be able to see how all of these meanings tie right in with all of the other creepiness that we find in this deep underground military ba um, I mean airport. Oh yeah, and the airport's buildings also make up a giant sword. So anyways, that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, if you find this interesting and you're not already familiar with my research of Washington, D.C., I would urge you to check that out as well. Otherwise, uh, I'd love to read your thoughts in the comments, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.